Howdy folks, welcome to this new game. It's called Railroader. It's in early access. It just came out this last Thursday, Friday, whatever it was. And so we're going to start a single player game. We're going to do a new game. And check this out. It does, it like lets you name your own railroad and stuff. And so, yeah. Um, but anyway, I think there's a bunch of, obviously, there's a bunch of... Uh, um, which we call it <laughs> Sacker. Okay, um RSNA, SMR. Okay, cool. Southern and Marmel. Alright, so we're gonna do company mode and we're gonna do the East Whittier. There's only this start right now, so it looks like they're gonna do different nap maps. And then we're gonna do we're gonna call it assuming we're gonna do some stuff like that. We'll do a season of this. We'll see. Um I did a little bit of the tutorial. So we'll see how how well it does, but um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do what I remember doing, and that kind of thing. Whoa, wow, that was interesting. <laughs> that was really interesting. So one of the things you have in here is you can use the mouse to zoom in and out, the mouse wheel, right? You can also use um, zoom back out a little bit here. You can also use two is second person. And then you can move around so with WASD and then if you use the um, shift key you move faster and if you use the control key and shift then you go even faster I think it's just control yeah it's control and you go even faster and so it doesn't look like you do any of the building yourself on the um, on the things the other thing you can do is you can go to the map and we were back here so if we click here I think we can click here or something like that can we can we click on the map tip okay we can do that and we can go follow okay so when you when you select on something and then you do follow this little thing is our camera here see look watch see our camera moves so that's our camera but yeah when you do follow then it'll actually follow it and if you do select it'll actually show you the controls for it so you can do that you can also do first person where you can I know a lot of people that are playing the the train stuff want to do want to do this so you can follow you can do this there's also like a hotkey that'll just sit you in the seat I think it's control 0 something like that but anyway yeah you can you can sit in the seat on this and then it does the same thing where you can look out you can look out the window and all that stuff so what we want to do is we want to bring our train up to... Can we open this door? Yeah, we can. Cool. Can we go through it? I don't think we can go through it, though. Okay. <laughs> you can open the door, but you can't get through it. All right. <laughs> okay, so I the one thing I haven't found is a way to um, to remotely switch the switches. You can't, you can't do it from the map. You can't see what the switches are at or any of that stuff. So we want to come up to here... And we do want to come up onto the main line. And so it looks like all our this switch is not set here. So that's this one. So we set that one. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take our train up onto the main line. And we're going to let me see if is it control zero? Let me see if it's if that's what it is. Yeah, see control zero puts you in the seat. Okay, and then we can do this too. And then you can also, your your two views are independent of each other. And so you can do, um, you can use the keys to move to move these. You can also, here, we're going to, we're going to release our brakes. I think they're both released. Yeah, okay. And then this is our reverser. And the reverser works the way it's supposed to. And let me get my sound on here. I love the sound on here. It sounds really good. And but yeah, the reverser works the way it's supposed to, where if you go like this, then it's you can get going a lot faster and stuff. But it's kind of like gearing, kind of, not exactly the same. But yeah, I think it has to do with and all the train people that are watching already know all this stuff anyway. But yeah, it has to do with when the steam is released from the thingy, and all that stuff. So we have the independent brake, which is just the engine only, and then we have the train brake, which is the whole the whole uh, thing 
And let's see if we can get our train up here a little bit. A little bit more. Right? Can we do it? There we go. And we'll get our coal up here. So we're going to fill it up with coal. And so we're going to go to first person. Actually, we don't even need to do that. We don't need to go to first person to do any of this. But yeah, you can lower the coal chute and see it's going to it's going to fill the coal on here. And so that's coming from there's none in the car right now, but it's coming from the chute. So the chute has some left in it. So that's filling up. Let's see if it's going to keep going here. Is it done? It looks like it's done. Okay, yeah. So we're going to put the coal chute back up. We're going to go like that. And then we're also going to open the hatch here. And we have 2,000 gallons of water, but we can add more water. So we're going to back up our train. We can go like this, or we can do the, the third person or whatever. So let's go like this. We'll do our reverser. And your um, your uh, H key uses the horn. So we'll get this to go back a little bit. I just like the initials SMR because it reminds me of <laughs> somebody that I knew. Still know, but yeah, somebody that I know. It's somebody's business. But anyway, there we go. All right. So this is going to fill up the water. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go rescue this train that's over here. So while that's filling up, this train over here is off the track. And so what you do is you point at it and you go shift R. There we go. There we go. And it looks like it's re-railed now. So this, I'm not sure, I assume that the, tra the trains don't go tumbling and flying and physicsing the way the other one does. So, and it looks like they are all set up. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up the switches here so that we can bring our engine up. So we've got this one here and then this one needs to be needs to be straight to begin with. Yeah, okay. So we'll come back past that switch and then we'll do that. So we're going to go like this and we're going to go see that puts our player in there and then we are finished with the water. So let's Let's uh, do this. We'll use the external view. We'll stow that. And then we can uh, get our train moving. We'll get this moving a little bit. There we go. Okay. So we just need to get past this switch and then we can go back and we'll hook up to our train and then we want what we want to do is we want to bring that into the into the thingy so let's get past this switch here and then we'll hit the brakes there we go so we should be able to hit that switch there we go all right and it's the same sort of deal where you don't want to go more than about five miles an hour when you're actually connecting in order to connect. I have not tried going all across the switch backwards when it's set to the other way. I don't know what happens yet. I'm sure we'll find out someday. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm not positive what happens if, if there's spring switches or what. But we're going 15. Yeah, I think we're going to need to slow down a little bit here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. There we go. Okay. I like the sounds of that. I like the sound of that whistle though. All right, and then we're going to hit the brake when we do this. Okay. And then we'll go forward again. We'll bring this back onto the main line here. So yeah, this one was derailed and damaged and all that stuff. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to um, hire a crew. 
See, that lets you go faster. There we go. Oh, that's right. We the, we are going up a hill, so we do need to keep this, keep some power applied here. There we go. We're going to get this whole thing past the switch. And then we can take it back into the shop. So what we want to do is we want to bring it into the shop. There we go. We're going to bring that back into the shop. And I'm not sure why it stopped following. So we can click on this and follow too. That will let us go a little bit uh, on that end. And then this should be still set to bring us back into this. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it back into the house and then we're going to hire some crew that will fix it tomorrow. Or start fixing it? I'm not sure. I didn't get that far. There we go. Alright, so we'll let this coast back into there. All right. Let's let this coast just a little bit more. A little bit more. Get it all the way into the house. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump out here. And we're going to disconnect this. Whoops. So we click on this to disconnect the coupler. Now what you can also do is you can connect these. You can connect these and then it has the little, we'll, and we'll show you when we do the other car. But what we want to do is we want to get the, um, we want to get the, the coal car. I guess we're going to have to go forward onto that. So we'll do that. Go like this. We're going to go, um, is that that switch? It's that switch that we want to switch. There we go. Okay, because we're going to go grab the coal car. So we'll take our brakes off. And you can control it this way too. So you can do the reverser. See? And you can do the, I think the throttle and the brake and stuff like that. I'm not sure why it's not letting me grab it right now. But yeah, as you can see here is the throttle. Uh-oh. I probably don't want to be going that fast. There we go. <laughs> All right. But yeah, we're going to do this, connect this up. We'll connect, we'll turn on the handbrake here on this one. Whoops. Yeah, that's applied. Okay. There we go. And then we can turn that off. There we go. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to attach this. And then what you can do is you can turn these. There we go. And that one. There we go. So then our brakes are applied on the train brakes when you do that. So when you're obviously when you're doing a longer thing, you want to do that. So we're going to pull this back. Yeah, we're going to pull this back. Can I get up here? That was weird. It was not letting me jump in there. So let's see if we can get in the seat again. So can we move the reverser? There we go. And then throttle and then that's the train brake there's the independent brake there we go okay so that should move us backwards let's see where we are here let's go to follow control click and then follow there we go okay 
And then what we want to do is we want to bring this all the way back past the switch, and then we can flip the switch again. So we're going to do that forward. We're going to do that. We're going to flip the switch. Turn our brake back off. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a way bill on this. Let's go like operations and we're going to say it loads to the coal loader and then it empties to the Whittier exchange. There we go. And we're going to go back here. We're going to switch. I think the switch on normal is go straight. I think when it's green, it's go straight. So we're just going to go with that theory. And so what we want to do is we want to leave this over on the interchange. See, if you if you do this, you mouse over this, and it'll show you which track is the interchange. And that should be green up there. Yeah, yeah, you can see it's right there. I can't tell that that's green, but I can tell that that's going to bring us the right way. So we'll get this onto the interchange. And then I guess we're going to have to go back to the switch. Yeah, we're going to have to go back to the siding in order to get in order to get that in order to get past it. Okay, so we're going to hit our brakes here. We could hit the train brake too since we have the thing um, set up like that, right? So we can open the coupler and we're going to back off because yeah, I don't think you can I don't think you can manually disconnect the glad hand. Let's close that too. Close our little hatch here. There we go. There we go. See, now we can go a lot, a lot faster. All right, so let's make sure our switch is the right way here. It looks like it is. I don't know, it's hard to tell. <laughs> no, it isn't. Okay, so what happens when our switch is the wrong way? It doesn't look like... Okay, it looks like we have spring switches then. Okay. Let's hit our brakes. We're going to go like this. We're going to go forward. And then we'll go past our thingy. There we go. All right, so what we want to do is we want to get our, we want to hire a crew to to fix that too. I need to remember to do that. So we're going to do that in a second. We're going to let this coast up here. I probably should put the brakes on that. What if we do this, right? And then we go car, handbrake, apply. See, you don't have to get on there to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, see, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it is a spring switch. Okay, cool. We just watched it change there. Okay, we're going to flip the switch here, and then we're going to dis we're going to connect up to the uh, which we call it car. We can go like this, keep it moving. We're going to connect up to the, the passenger car, and I think we're going to connect the, um, whatchamacallit, too. Handbrake released. This one handbrake applied. No, we'll release it. That's right, because these will connect up on their own anyway. Because I want to do the caboose. I want to use the caboose. We didn't. I didn't use it in the tutorial, but I want to use it here, and we're going to use the train brake, too. So we'll get the train brake hooked up here. 
Let me get this move in here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to turn that off. We're going to hit the, the brakes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect this. Can we connect it? It's not going to let me. Okay, let's go to first person. We're going to jump out and do this. But if you control click on this, it'll do the, it'll do, see, it'll connect those and it'll also do the little yellow, the air handles. <laughs> That's the technical term. Those. No? Let's try that again. Maybe it's shift click. There we go. Yeah, if you do shift click, it will connect the, the glad hands and it'll do the angle cock. See, they're closed right now. And then when we shift click, they open up. So now we have all of those attached. We do have the caboose. We can stand on the caboose. Okay. I want to see what's in the caboose. It looks a lot like the one in uh, which we'll call it, doesn't it? Can we come up here? Yeah, we can. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. You can sit on the chair too. See? We do that. And then we lean out to the left. Nice. Can we open the window? We can't open the window. Okay, something's leaking here. Let's go check. We've got a leak here. That one's closed. Something's going on. Those are open, which they should be. And then these are open, which they should be. So yeah, I'm not sure what it's doing. Guess we're going to sit here. Okay, let's check our, <clears throat> let's check our, um, we're going to go forward, turn that off. Is that working now? Apply? It's doing nothing. Yeah, we've got a leak somewhere. Something's going on here. Let's check. Maybe it's not closed on this side or open. Yeah, that's weird. Huh. Okay. Is it on is there something on here? I'm not sure why it's doing that. Okay. We need to figure that out. <laughs> oh, is it is it it's open on the Okay. When did that open? Oh, when we hooked that up? Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, yeah, I'm caught up now. <laughs> okay. All right. So, we're going to take off. We got our brakes are off. There we go. All right. So, we're going to go like this. We're gonna go like this, follow, we're gonna follow. Let's follow the, whoops. Let's follow this one. There we go. All right, so we've got all that stuff. We can bring up the company screen and then we can go employees. Huh, cruise, it must be cruise. Equipment, cruise, huh, locations. Oh, that's what it is, engine service. We wanna hire somebody for that. There we go. Okay, so one day, three hours to complete. So we're gonna hire somebody to work on that. That's what we just did there. And then on here, we're just gonna end up, we're gonna go to the other town and we're gonna pick up passengers. As you see here, we have a capacity for 60 capa passengers and we're gonna set it to both of these as destinations. So then when we um, when we get to the other place, it'll it'll do all that for us. And this this goes to the other town. So we'll go check out the map here. Check out the map. This is where we're going, is we're going past Whittier and we're going up to Elah. 
Ella, whatever, and then Connolly is down there. So if we went that way, that would take us to Connolly. But we're currently going to this place. So we're going to go all the way to the next town. There we go. Whoops. It likes to do that thing too. <laughs> all right. And our speed is 30. There we go. Yeah, our speed is supposed to be 30. I don't know which corner is is too much for 30, but we'll find out maybe. I don't think it's this one. This corner doesn't seem that sharp yet. <laughs> so right. Okay. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take up we're going to take up passengers at the other place and then bring them back here. So it looks like this is more of a um you're managing the company kind of thing and you're doing that kind of thing. See there's a little W on that sign. Oh, nope, that's a 58. Okay. But some of those signs have a little W on them, which means you're supposed to blow your whistle. But let's see where we are. Okay, so we just have a couple more corners. It looks like we're okay. Yeah, I don't know. It said something about one of the corners. You can't take it more than 30. Or you're not supposed to or you shouldn't or whatever. It's unwise to. We'll say that. But yeah, one of the corners you can uh, you can have problems with if you're going too fast. So we'll see what we can do here. Should we come up to this one? But yeah, the nice thing is, is that you can teleport around the map and stuff. You can use the map to teleport around the map. Um, it's not a you have to walk everywhere kind of thing. They don't try to force you to walk everywhere. And I like that they, they allow you to do either way with the controls. It still would be fun to use like a joystick type of, you know, that kind of setup. Though I suppose a lot of people that have train sims don't use uh, flight controllers, shall we say. All right, yeah, there's like a slight downhill here. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I think that grinding sound is that we're going too fast around the corners. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. But we'll see. So, and I think it's right around this corner here. Yeah, it's coming up. There we go. Next town is coming up. So then we'll we'll show you what we do here as we pick up our passengers. And then we'll bring them back to where we started. As you can see, it's time of day thing. Is that a whistle? Nope, that's S for station. Station coming up. And I think it's just around the corner here. Yep, it's just around the corner. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to... All right, that's the station right here. This is the station. I was thinking it was that when I took the, when I did the tutorial. I thought it was that. Whoops. There we go. There we go. We can bring it back here a little bit. And then if we do that, 
passengers. See? We've got a passenger already. They're loading up. Cool. And I think we were supposed to pick up passengers at Whittier Depot. I think we were supposed to do that. And we'll check it out. 20. I don't remember if you can... Yeah, I don't, I don't remember now if you can... Uh, it looks like 25. Okay, it looks like we got all 25. Okay. So... We're going to follow this one. All right, so if you leave the if you leave this at whatever. There we go. It only goes up to like 12, 14, whatever. There we go. All right, so we're going to bring these passengers back to Whittier and I think we can drop them off and then bring more back here I don't remember uh, I don't remember if it I think that's what happened because you can walk up to the window and you can see how many passengers there are and stuff too that's what I wanted to show on there I'm curious to see how fast we can go on this. I don't know what it does when it derails, if it's horrible or what. And I think actually what happens is if you're over speeding on this, I think if you're over speeding condition, your condition goes down. See? So I think that's what happens here. Let's go like this. Equipment. Okay. Cool. That works too. But yeah, they've got the the tutorial is up here. They've got a tutorial. They've got um, a console. Looks like there's console commands. They've got the company window. There's a switch list? Huh, that's kind of cool. I'll have to figure out what that is. But anyway, yeah, your profile, let's see. See, it lets you choose your different, your character and stuff. So, I think everything is, yeah, I think everything's pretty good on here. Features, sway intensity, that's kind of cool. All right, so we'll get this, we'll get these passengers dropped off, and then I'll show you what what they're doing at the window, and then I'll probably um, just bring the other passengers back offline or whatever. We'll see. But the other thing you can do is in the um, company windows and the settings. You see, you can change the time of day, so you can zoom through the day. As you see, it's only 10.06. Or you can sleep, which basically makes it the next morning. And then you can set when the interchange is served. So that way, like that coal car that I left on the interchange, when we sleep, it'll make it the next morning. And then, um, and then the uh, coal car will be back on the interchange filled up. So that's kind of cool, too. Where are we on the map? Okay, this is the last corner. All right. Yeah, we don't seem to be. I don't. I don't know which corner they're talking about that they were saying is too much or whatever. All right. So this is our. This is our uh, passenger station here. I suppose we can use the train brake, can't we? I keep forgetting to do that. There we go. 
So with the train brake, you can either um, you can either release it completely or apply it partially or whatever. But when you release it, you're like releasing it completely. You can't partially release it. I think you can partially apply it, but you can't partially release it. So let's see if the passengers are going to start debarking when we get close here. I don't think you even have to be stopped. I think you just have to be within the area. <laughs> and they'll start they'll start uh debarking off the train. There we go. We're going to set our train brakes. Yeah, okay. I guess you do have to stop because we did stop. All right. So we're going to go back into first person here. We're going to go off over to here. When you go to the window, there it is. See, it says there's 24 passengers waiting. So if we say we're going to Ela Station, then it should, um, yeah, it looks like, okay. It'll show you how many. And then is it gonna, see, there we go. They're loading up, they're loading up for the other one. Cool. Okay, that's cool. The clock shows the actual time. That's pretty neat. All right, I like that. Okay, so they got 24 to load up. So anyway, yeah, that's that's, and they don't they don't show the graphics on there or anything, unfortunately. Here's the gate. Watch the little gate you can open and close. Where is it? It's this one. You can open and close the gate. But yeah, they don't show the passengers. I don't know if they're going to at some point. Huh, interesting. You can sit in the chairs in here too. Oh, that's cool. So you can sit here. Is it just the one chair? It looks like it's just the one chair. Can you look out the window? You can look out the window. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for episode one. Uh, we'll probably do some more. We'll see, we'll see how this game goes. It, it looks like it's going to be fun. So yeah, we'll do some more of this. Uh, join me in episode two. Um, we're going to mix this in, I think, with um, Railroads Online. We'll do some more of that, too. We'll mix those all in. And, uh, yeah, so join me in whatever is the next one. And we'll see you then. <laughs> Later. <laughs>